So this is a continuation of um, the example where we found a frequency distribution. And in this example, we want to actually create a histogram of this data. So we already created a frequency distribution with the breaks that we wanted to create. Um, and we have that frequency distribution. And now what we want to do is just type in, because the data is already there, we just type in hist of our time, our variable time. And then you're going to type in breaks because we're going to use those breaks we created. You type in right equals false so that you actually don't use the right endpoint um, like we did before. And now what you're going to do is, again, you want to have it have a um, title. So title is always main. And then type in whatever title you think you'd like to have on this. So I might want to do a title of um, something like time to... Um, recurrence of tumors um, go out close that quote and then um, you probably want to put an X label on and so that was time and I believe the time was in um, let's see the time was in sorry I'm trying to find what it was in um, months so I probably put in parentheses months so that I know what variable was it was. Close that parenthesis, close the quotes. Um, you can put a Y label on a frequency, but R actually will do that. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyhow because I like my labels to be capitalized. So um, do spell it correctly because it will put whatever you want. And then if you don't like the gray, you can also pick a color. I happen to always like them to be in blue, but you can pick any color you want. And just hit enter. And there is our graph of time to recurrence of tumors, time in months is here, frequencies over here, and here's our histogram. You can now copy this histogram by going up under edit and say you want to copy, and then you can paste that into Word or wherever else you would like to paste it. And that's all it is to do to create a histogram in R.